Two things about Sam Walton distinguish him from almost everyone else I know. First, he gets up every day bound and determined to improve something. Second, he is less afraid of being wrong than anyone I've ever known. And once he sees he's wrong, he just shakes it off and heads in another direction. David Glass. What's up guys, welcome back to Why Should I Read That? I'm John, this is episode 11 of the series. Today is kind of like a walk and talk. I'm inside the Center for Performing Arts in Kansas City, Missouri. You might be able to see the World War I Memorial right over there. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal city, a lot of fun. I'll put a bunch of time lapses in to make it more interesting uh, because I wasn't able to film outside. The sound is really dirty. It's like 20 mile an hour winds out here. Anyway, today is episode 11, Sam Walton, Made in America, just a phenomenal book about one of the great entrepreneurs of this century. Uh, there is a quote in the book that says, with the exception of maybe Henry Ford, Sam Walton was easily the entrepreneur of the century here in America. And I just, I really appreciate that, learning a lot of life lessons from what's his autobiography, but it's interspersed with quotes and stories about him from coworkers, family members, and members of his company. Uh, and it really breaks down the culture of Walmart as they started and the ways that really set that uh, company apart as they went, oh, the sun's coming back out. Anyway, Sam Walton was a man who had a relentless bias toward action. He never let being wrong stop him for long, and he was always looking to improve something. David Glass, the uh, uh, subsequent CEO and uh, president of Walmart after Sam Walton was done, said, said that about Sam Walton, that he had a relentless bias for action. And he was always motivated to be the best. Now, he ended up being the richest man in the world in the 19, late 1980s, and that brought with it a lot of fame. But according to Sam, that was never his intention. He set out to be the best retailer that he could and to build the best company that he could. And he did that. Walmart became the largest uh, retailing firm in the world for a number of years. And it's interesting how the culture of Walmart has shifted over the last 20 years since Sam Walton's death. And he really embodied the mindset that said, we put the customer first, the customer is king, and we will do whatever we can to serve the customer at the expense of perhaps the bottom line or um, the comfort of their employees. And that really served Walmart well during that, that time period. The discounting stories that are in here are just phenomenal. I still remember um, the, the story of a, a man who opened up a Walmart and being very entrepreneurial, got a great deal on a bunch of Tide. And he had so much Tide, he stacked it up 12 feet tall all the way across the back of the store. So like 70 or 80 feet wide. 12 feet high, just a mountain of Tide. And they priced it low, and they passed the savings on to the consumer, and were able to move all of it. Just like a few weeks later with that same store, actually, they got a great deal on 200 riding lawnmowers and then sold them all, just because of the culture that was instilled into that organization. And I think that Sam Walton would agree that it was a relentless, again, a relentless drive for improvement as well as a religious adherence to the basics, the basics of being a great merchandiser as well as serving their customers. So I really enjoyed reading this book. It's the first biography I'm doing for this series. Um, I think I'll probably do more, maybe uh, one every other month or something like that. But it was fun to, uh, to jump into the life of Sam Walton. Um, I will catch you guys later. Hopefully the sound is okay in here. I'm in a big open space and I'm squinting in the sun. <laughs> Catch you guys later for episode 12. Check me out on all the social medias. I'll link them below. Hopefully we'll get the blog up. I've got a conference this weekend. We will catch you guys later.